You mean to tell me in that whole scenario, he's supposed to just be happy about it? He's supposed to be singing and dancing, jucking and jiving. Oh, yes, master. You want me to play CDM when I'm not a CDM? Yes, master. You want me to play a center back when I'm not a center back? Yes, master. Everything I love about football, don't do it. Yes, master. I'm just, I'm just supposed to be so happy. I'm supposed to be gas. I'm supposed to be... I'm supposed to be just so happy that you guys will give me a chance that I can't say nothing about nothing, fam. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Okay, what's good, YouTube? While we're here today, Graham Sooners is a prick. Graham Sooners, if you're watching this, you're a prick, fam. And there's so many different reasons why you're a prick. And I'm gonna list them all. I'm gonna list them all, fam. I've been watching, fam. I've been watching, fam. Graham Sooners is a prick. All right. What we're gonna do? What we're gonna do in this video? I'm gonna, I'm gonna run down a list of all the specific reasons why Graham Sooners is a prick, and I'm gonna break down each and every time why he was wrong, because he's a, he's a fam. He's just an old prick, fam. He just, it is what it is. It is, fam. Say, call, call it what you want, fam. He's fam. He gotta go, bro. And also, Sky, you're not slick. Sky, you are not slick. Sky Sports, you're not slick. All them man in that building that keep bringing man back to talk the way that he talking about certain players, fam. You're pricks too. Facts. It is what it is. So here's the deal. So I was watching the United game. Having the time of my life, might I say, on stream. And fam, I was not only was I having the time of my life, bro, I was filled with such joy. And the next day, fam, what do I? See? I log, I, I, I tune into the, I tune into the, into the Tottenham Man City game, and Graham Sooners is talking shit about Pogba, fam. What? What? You tell, you telling me the man that just put up four assists less than twenty four hours ago? You mean to tell me the man that other than fam, other than fam? So, anyways, he was talking shit. And then when somebody questioned him on it, he's like, oh, I don't want to talk about that. I have external information. Let's move on. Let's talk about something else. Ex you have you have extra information. Do you care to share this extra information? Do you? Because if the answer is no, fam, why are you talking right now? Because I, fam, anybody can say, oh, I have extra information that you guys don't know about such and such. Let's not do this. Let's not go back and forth. No, fam. If one player is up for criticism, they all have to be up for criticism. If one can't be criticized, then none of them can. By your metric, fam, that is what it. That's has. That's just how it has to be. That's how it has to be. But. I'm getting sidetracked. So what I did, because this has happened so often, fam. This has happened so often that I forgot some of the disrespect. So what I've had to do is I've had to grab a different, I've had to grab a compilation of all the times man disrespected man like Paul or Bill Pogba, who is top five midfielders in the world today. Argue it. List the five today. Talent skill execution whatever you want whatever metric you want top five midfielder in the world right now today argue it to disrespect that man is crazy fam it's crazy Eric. insane fam insane so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run off all the disrespect and i'm gonna pick it apart because fam here's the thing i don't even need to have stats and blah 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 to back me up i don't even need to have the numbers the data the statistics fam i know that it's cap so it won't be difficult for me to pick apart. It just won't be, fam. All right, so let's do it. Honest, Said his name wrong, but it don't matter. Football may have Soon as it's still a prick. Cost, but it doesn't look as though the animosity between Graham Sonnes and Paul Pogba will be stopping any Uni dimensional so animosity, by the way. Before we even get to this, uni dimensional, uni dimensional hate, fam. Understand this, fam. Graham Soon as is the level of prick. Where man was talking about what Paul Pogba doesn't know me. All right, then put your medals on the table. Fam, you played in the 70s or something stupid like that, fam. Why is a French nigga from France, grew up what, from somewhere in Africa, fam, grew up in France. Why would he know you, fam? Why would he know you? You, you was done playing before he was alive. Make it make sense, fam. But anyways, that's beside the point. You need directional animosity understand that because man don't even know him too tough he only know him because he's talking shit and to true say it the only reason some of i know him is because he's been talking shit that's that's just is what it is 
Before starting the video, be sure to subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. God damn. Talk about loud shit. Jesus. Graham Sonnet called Paul Pogba selfish. It's probably fair to say and you Blackburn and Newcastle manager Sonnet isn't the biggest fan of the 27-year-old Manchester United midfielder. A long time ago, the ex-Scotland midfielder has previously called Pogba selfish. And you know the other funny thing about my man? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The other funny thing about my man is every time he talk about man, it's always a personal attack. Have you ever noticed that? It's always a personal attack. It's always he's selfish. He loves himself too much. He thinks about himself before the team. It's always a personal attack. Like you don't like him. He's showboat. He's arrogant. Blah, blah. You see what I'm saying? Is that not mad to anybody else that somebody could come on TV continuously? Personally slander, man. Personally slander, man. And nobody says anything about it. The Sky people don't say nothing about it. His presenters just let him get it off. Is that not mad to anybody else or is that just me? Okay, cool. Maybe just me. All right, never mind then. Never mind. Let's carry on. Maybe it's just maybe it's just me. Whoever he is. If you're not happy, you can't give your best, he said, after the opening win over Leicester. There are things I cannot say, otherwise I'll get fined. I cannot imagine he's keeping his counsel in the dressing room though. Pogba plays for himself. It's all about how cool he looks. Listen Listen, listen to these personal attacks and make them make sense to me. Listen to what he's saying as if he no man, fam. He plays, it's all about how clever he is and showing how much he, what he's better than everybody else. And fam, why are you calling man arrogant when you don't know man? On live TV and everybody's let is okay with it, fam. Make it, nah, fam. Nah, fam. I'm a, I'm a come clean with you, G. I'm a come clean with you, fam. Fam, that's crazy to me, fam. That's crazy to me. To keep the ball and move it quickly. I reckon Pogba's only in the team to maintain his transfer value so United can sell him because he doesn't merit his place for any other reason. Name a bet. Name a better United midfielder in the last since Skulls retired. Name me a better mid. Uh, name me a better Manchester United midfielder since Scholes retired. I'll wait, fam. Why? Because there isn't none. There isn't one, fam. Paul, as far as midfield, you have to bear in bear in mind. Bear in mind, all this criticism is coming while man is playing with Fellaini and and Herrera in the midfield. And Fellaini, Herrera, who else was there? Who are, who else are the main ones? Who else are the main ones? Andreas Pereira, fam, you mean to tell me you are trying to tell me that these men are gonna get the job done if he passes the ball to him? No, fam, that's not happening. Never mind. Carry on. Carry on, Sooners. Carry on. But he's just so much cleverer and better than ever. Shut the. And with Pogba currently injured, the criticism continues. Oh, this was a mad one. Listen to him. Listen to him. Listen to him. Sports Pundit said, Pogba has absolutely everything to be a top player. Great athleticism, super technique, but his attitude to the game is the polar opposite of mine. He goes out with one thought in his mind. How do you know Graham Sooners, fam? Graham Sooners, fam. You are a prick. I say that wholeheartedly, fam. I would say that to your face. You are a prick, fam. In what world do you know what's going on in man's head that you could just so so cavalierly say that? How could you so casually say, in his head, he just wants to be the best and he, he doesn't care about anything else other than himself. And how can you, fam, all right, never mind, never mind. I, fam, I digress. Let's hear, let's hear him out. Let's hear him out. Today and be the star of the show. He'd be an absolute doddle to play against. But finally, Pogba, who United paid 89 million pounds to resign from Juventus in 2016 has hit back. Oh, that was the other one as well. That was the other one. That was the other one. That was the other one that Graham suit Graham Prick Sooners tried to get off him. He tried to say, well, when you're worth a hundred, when you're a hundred million pounds, you can you have to you have to perform at a certain level. Fam, he wasn't a hundred million though. 
I understand what you're doing and you're not sneaky with it, bro. I understand what you're doing and you're not sneaky with it. Why I say that is what you do is you move the goalpost so casually that nobody even notices it. You feel me? You 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 just move the benchmark so slightly that everybody fam, everybody's so caught up in what you're saying that nobody even questions it. In what world was he a hundred million? Euros? Maybe. You can talk about euros, yeah, sure. But in what but 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 but, but, but okay, that's besides the point. To say that okay, he's worth such and such, you demand a such and such level performance. What? Did he say his price tag? Did he tell you how much? Did he go to the team? Did he go and say how much he was worth? Unlike the saints and the savior that is Harry Kane. One of these days, one of these days, we're going to have to have a very real conversation about Harry Kane. But today is not that day. Today is not that day. Harry Kane did an interview. A 15 minute long conversation with Gary Neville. Talked about a whole host of things. His desires. You feel me? His passions. You feel me? What he likes. Who he is as a person. You feel me? And then, strolled out with it. And then started talking about, well, here's the thing. I want to leave. And realistically, I feel like a hundred million pounds is a good value for me. So if a team comes in with a hundred million pounds... And Dan Levy has to be like, you know what? Fair enough. That's a good offer. In what world does a player put a price tag on themselves? And nobody criticizes it. Fam, explain that to me. But meanwhile, Paul Pogba, who comes out, who might, if he, if or if not, he wants to leave. That's besides the point. Explain to me where the crime is in wanting to leave a team, fam. Rafael Varane, we was gassed that he wanted to leave Real Madrid. Cristiano Ronaldo, Juventus was gassed that he wanted to leave Real Madrid and type, try something else. Harry Kane, Man City are gassed that he wanted to leave and try something else. Jack Greenish, the whole world clapped for Ryan. The whole world clapped for man. The whole world applauded. Yes, Jack. Go get your, go chase your ambitions. Go win, Jack. Go on. You are a little golden boy. Nobody can say nothing about you because you're a little golden boy. Go win. Do the country proud. Fam. What? But when this guy says, you know what, fam, this team that hasn't won anything for almost five years is not really the quality that I'm on right now. Whilst playing in midfield with, cert with certain men, whilst going back and forth with Jose Mourinho, who is the most toxic manager I have seen at United since ever, fam. You mean to tell me in that whole scenario, he's supposed to just be happy about it? He's supposed to be singing and dancing, jacking and jiving. Oh, yes, master. You want me to play CDM when I'm not a CDM? Yes, master. You want me to play a centre-back when I'm not a centre-back? Yes, master. Everything I love about football, don't do it. Yes, master. I'm just, I'm just supposed to be so happy. I'm supposed to be gas. I'm supposed to be... I'm supposed to be just so happy that you guys will give me a chance that I can't say nothing about nothing, fam. Yeah, fam. All right. All right. All right. All right, and I've gone on a tangent. I'm going to come clean with you. I've gone on a tangent, but fam, it is what it is. For National told the United Podcast. I heard he was a great player and stuff like that. I know the face, but not the name. I'm not someone who watches a lot of punditry. I watch a lot of football, but I don't stay after the game to listen to what they say about why they did this. Reasonable things to say. Very, very reasonable things to say. Speak out again, though. Put your medals on the table. This was the other bullshit. This was the other fam. And, and they just laughed about it. They just laughed and did nothing. They laughed and said nothing. They laughed and didn't even challenge it. Graham Sooners, you were a prick, blood. Oh, my God, fam. This nigga's getting me heated. Okay, so, Paul LeBeal Pogba. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about what he's won. Graham Sooners, in his playing career, he won some things. Fair enough. In his managerial career, he won some things. Was it the World Cup? No. No. Is that a pinnacle of world sports? Yes. Is the, is the World Cup the most that you could win? Yes. Was he a passenger in that team? No. Was he the most important player in that whole team during that whole run? Yes. Was he controlling the was he controlling the dressing room vibes? Yes. 
Will you have French man vouching for man? Yes, fam. So what are the fuck are you talking about, Graham Sooners? Put your medals on the table like man ain't got medals, fam. Put your World Cup on the table. Let's hear you talk, fam. And the mad thing that pisses me off more than anything is no one's saying nothing to this man. They're just letting this nigga get this dumb shit off, fam, consistently. Okay, carrying on. I hate this nigga, bro. I swear on everything I hate this nigga, bro. And everybody, ha, 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 yes, Graham, yes. Oh, it's so funny, Graham. Look at this, fam. This man was not a tactician, fam. This man was not a skilled player, fam. Uh, fam, this... <sighs> Rang, I, ain't even, I don't even want to hear what you got to say no more. The moral of the story is this, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any sort of position of power, you can say anything without anybody challenging you. And also, Sky, like I said, you man are not low. You man know that this man is saying some blatantly disrespectful shit and nobody will question it because it gets views. You man are doing the most for clicks and views whilst not checking yourself. And that's a slippery slope, fam, because when you start twerking and hurting for... Fam, when you start making it hurt, making it twerk for views, fam, you get to a slippery slope, fam. You end up like talk sport. Like talk sport. Certain man that said Ben White is better than Rafael Varane, who won a World Cup and four Champions Leagues. Certain man are saying that a player from Brighton will do better because he knows the league. That's, that's the slippery slope you go down when you start twerking for views. Understand that. And Graham Sooners, fam, understand that, fam, your market is very limited, fam, at this point. They're only bringing you on, fam, to, to do what you're doing right now. As soon as that water dries up, fam, as soon as man start clocking your moves, fam, it's over with. Because you have nothing else to talk about. That's why you bring man up when he's been injured for three months. That's why you bring man up when he's balling, fam. That's why you bring man up in the summer. That's when you bring man up when there's another game going on, fam. Your shit is running dry, bro. Because there's nothing else to talk about, bro. Understand that. That's where I'm going to leave it. I don't even know how much of this y'all going to see. I might have cut out a lot of shit because I'm going to come clean, bro. I'm going to keep it all the way clean. I don't like man. He's a prick. And it is what it is. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it. In the comment section, let me know how you feel. Do you, do you agree? Do you disagree? Do I know what I'm talking about? Do I not know what I'm talking about? Are you riding with Sooners? Because here's the thing, fam. It's not just Pogba. That I'm going to say this and I'm going to dip out. It's not just Pogba, bro. Raheem Sterling's in that mode as well, fam. There's a couple other players in that mode that he just don't like for some unknown reason, fam. So I'm going I'm to leave it there. I'm going to say that and leave it there. But we will never talk about Harry Kane. We will never say a bad word about Harry Kane because he has extra information that we don't know. So we should just not talk about it. That's where I'm going to leave it. It's been your boy DZ, aka One Take Team. I deserve asking AMD for me. Okay, Fuego. Why call me Fuego? How did the hell bring more heat than the devil himself? Okay, do right, DZ. Why call me do right, DZ? But I ain't going to do right, I'm going to be way easy. Yeah, make sure I hit the like button. I'm going to see you. Peace.